In this video, we're gonna talk about knowing the type of player you are and how to maximize your opportunities. It's Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey. And one of the crucial things when we wanna talk about moving to the next level and how to improve as a hockey player is first knowing the type of player you are. What type of player are you? What type of role do you have? Because if you don't know that, you don't know the areas you need to improve. You don't know what you need to do to get to that next level and to fill in some additional skills and what skills that you need to work on to turn your weaknesses into strengths. So what type of player are you now? And then what do you need to improve to get to where you wanna go? One thing I talk to players about all the time is that you can always level up. So I'm gonna break down the different levels of players in terms of the type of player you are. And most players always fit into one of these categories, okay? And a lot of times players aren't very honest with themselves. So you need to be honest in terms of where do you fit in? All right, be realistic about where do you fit in and I'll give you a quick description of each one and then we need to focus on leveling up. So don't ever just be satisfied of where you're at right now. You can always level up. And then remember, every time you move up a level, every time you go to a new level of hockey, to a higher level of hockey, it's gonna be harder and harder to stay at that level that you're currently at because every, there's gonna be multiple players at that level that you're currently at, okay? and they're all gonna be competing for that role on the team. So you need to be better than those players to maintain that role, and then you need to even improve more to continue moving up. So we're always working on leveling up our role on that team. So we'll go over the different roles we have right now, and you can figure out where you fit in what type of player you are. All right, number one, this is the top of the pyramid, the most prolific role. This is the game changer, all right? This is a player that does everything very well. They're gonna be able to score goals. They're gonna be able to make plays with the puck. They're gonna be able to create opportunities. They're gonna, they compete very hard. They work very hard and they literally can change the course of the game. All right, they're doing everything very, very well. They're a complete player. They play good offensively. They play good defensively. They understand their position well. They have good enough skills to be able to score. They have good enough skills to be able to make plays and they're by far the most dominant player on the ice. 2A. 2A is going to be your sniper, all right? This is going to be a player that can score goals. They can score from anywhere. They want that puck on their stick. They have confidence with that puck. Again, this player is going to compete hard. They're going to work hard. They're going to be good defensively. If they're not good defensively, that's going to be a major area they want to work on. Or when they get to that next level, someone else is going to take that role and they're going to get bumped, okay? So they need to be good all around the puck in all three zones, but they're a player that can score goals. Okay, here we have 2B, so this is the second number two. This is gonna be your playmaker. So now this is a player who can make plays with the puck. They're gonna be able to see the ice really well, set up teammates. They're not gonna overhandle it, they're not gonna turn the puck over, they're not gonna force it in bad situations, but they're gonna be able to make plays. They may not be the best goal scorer, they may still get some goals, but they may not be the best goal scorer, they're not gonna be that sniper, but they're gonna be a great playmaker. Again, they need to be responsible defensively, they need to be smart with the puck, they need to compete, they need to battle. Okay, if they don't do those things, if they're limited in those areas, that's gonna be a huge liability for them when they go play on at the next level. So they need to be able to play good in all three zones, smart decisions, they need to compete hard, but they're gonna be your playmaker. Three, this is gonna be your all around smart hockey player. So this player is gonna have decent skills. They're not gonna be great skills, okay? They're not gonna be good enough to you know, be the sniper, or be the playmaker, but they're still gonna be able to score some goals and make some plays. They're typically gonna be your third line level player, okay? A good third line player because they're smart. They make smart decisions. They're able to be smart defensively. They're good positionally. They're coachable so that they're gonna learn the game. They're gonna keep working on their positioning, but this player has to work to get to that next level, level two. So they have to improve those skills and build elite level skills. They have to maybe improve some of their, either their skating, their strength, their stick handling, their shooting. Probably in all those areas, they need to level up in everything to get to that playmaker or sniper status. But the great thing is, is this player's got a good foundation because they're smart, okay? Something that is really hard to teach is having that good hockey sense and hockey awareness. So 
This is a player that plays good in all three zones. They're smart with the puck. They're able to do the little things really well, and that's what's going to get them to keep moving on. But eventually, this player is going to fall off if they don't build those high-level and elite-level skills that it's going to take to compete and to perform when the game gets faster and when other players get better. Okay, Because again, this is a role that, even though it's a good role to be at, you want to be leveling up. You want to be, become that playmaker, sniper, and game changer, so you have to keep working. Number four is gonna be your grinder, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a forward or a defenseman, either one, you can have the grinder. And now this is gonna be your low, lower level third line player to a fourth line player, okay? And this player works hard, they compete, they may not be the smartest player all the time, they may make some bad decisions, all right? They probably have a little bit even lower level skill than your smart player does, but they work extremely hard. They're an energy player, and that's why they're on the team. That's why they have this role on the team. Now, if you're this player, you have to level up your skills. You should be spending an hour to an hour and a half every day off the ice on stick handling, on shooting, on game specific situations because that's what's holding you back is going to be your skills. The more your skills improve, the smarter you're able to train your skills so you're actually working on game situations. You're gonna build the hockey sense, you're gonna build the anticipation, you're gonna be able to execute in game situations. Right now this player is working hard, but they need to improve their skills to move up to smart player and then to playmaker sniper. So what's gonna happen is this is a player that's gonna get dropped off. When you go to move to the next level, when you try out for the next level, it's gonna be those smart players that turn into the grinders, okay? Or even sometimes it's gonna be have to be a playmaker, a sniper who get beat out for their spot that's gonna have to turn into a grinder, okay? And what's gonna happen is the grinders are gonna fall off. Even some of those smart hockey players are gonna fall off, okay? so. This player, if they want to keep moving up, has to figure out how to level up their role and how to level up their game. And it's going to come from the extra work. It's going to come from the extra effort after practice, before practice, working on high intensity, game situation specific skill development. All right, now the fifth and the final type of player, I call this player the lost puppy, okay? This player really doesn't understand the game very well. They're probably not very coachable. They don't, they have trouble translating what they're hearing and actually going to execute it on the ice so that they don't really have the best skills or maybe they do even have skills, but they don't know what to do with them, all right? They don't make any plays. They don't compete very hard. They don't have good hockey sense. They're in the wrong position a lot of time. The coach is probably yelling at them a lot, okay? This player has to start to learn the game better. So they should be spending 20, 30, 45 minutes a day studying game film, studying different game situations. They should be working on their skills 30, 45 minutes a game. They have to improve in every single area of the game. So they have to become a smarter player, they have to improve their skills, and they probably have to improve some of their skating and their strength too. And so this player has to learn the game. Again, this player is a definitely a player who isn't gonna make that next level, who's gonna get dropped off as everyone else starts to move up unless they improve all the areas of their game. So you don't wanna be the lost puppy. If you are the lost puppy, you better get to work. So you have to know what your role is. You have to be able to evaluate yourself, be honest with yourself, okay? Be self-aware enough to know where you fit in, what your role is, and then what you need to improve, okay? So all of these different roles, you have to be able to play solid defensively. You have to be able to make smart decisions with the puck and play in all three zones. If you don't do that, you're gonna be one of the player that drops down okay so to maintain your role you have to not only do that role well yeah but you have to be a complete player in all three zones and be good defensively every level you move up it's more and more important to be good when you don't have the puck on your stick to be good when the other team has the puck and be solid and smart defensively and then figure out what are the weaker areas of your game so if you're a sniper what are the other areas that you need to work on okay you need to work on your playmaking ability maybe what are the areas you can improve to even highlight that even more and highlight your strengths even more okay don't just say oh I'm a goal scorer at this level I don't need to improve my goal scoring because I'll be a goal scorer at the next level it doesn't always work like that remember every level you move up you're competing against other players in that role that could be better at you at what you do at your role so you need to excel beyond them and then even try to go a step further and take uh, roles away from other players that's the ultimate okay the ultimate is to get on a team for one role and then keep working your way up by working harder, by putting the extra time, the extra training, training smarter, and so that you're constantly working your way up, all right? That's what we focus on in our Hustle 100 
program is that what do we need to do to constantly be working up, to constantly be leveling up, to constantly be working on getting a new role and becoming that well-rounded and that complete player, becoming that dynamic player, working on the skills, working on the hockey sense, working on the mental game. It's all of these things that allow you to keep moving up to the next level so that when you're competing against another player at your role, you're able to beat them out and then you're able to take jobs away and, and replace other players in their roles as that season goes on or going into the next season through your off-season training, okay? So it's all about that training to improve your role.